Yo, yo, welcome back to the channel. Let me start by saying I hope you are ready for a nice, chilled vlog type video. Today's going to be pretty cool. The last couple of videos have been pretty damn chilled. Nice little detailing sessions, chill sessions. We're kind of going for the same thing today. So, we're starting out the day with a upgrade. So, wait there. This is going to be sick. I think some of you all really, really like this video, actually. This right here is my Karcher K7 Compact. I've owned this now for approximately three months. Something give or take. It's amazing. A hundred out of ten. Absolutely buzz off the K7 Karcher. It's sick. Now, we are going to be doing some pretty savage upgrades to that. We have to go and buy some parts for the Polo GTI track slash chill car. What are you eating, Quacho? So we got to get some parts for the Polo track car. Then I want to test a brand new shampoo with me upgraded K7 Compact Beast. You will notice that I'm wearing a brand new chilled camo t-shirt. It's an absolute beast. Check it out. And I've got a brand new white snapback flat peak cap. On owner right now, you get a free snapback cap with every single order. So if you're ordering a t-shirt, a hoodie, sticker pack, a wallet, whatever you're ordering, go to the hat section and add your favourite snapback cap and it'll be absolutely free. No catch, no tricky business, it's that easy. Get involved, thanks for the support, it's really, really cool and crazy that people support me living the dream, it's sick. Now, we have a pretty cool video today, I'm gonna show you what we're working with. First thing we've gotta do, we've gotta unravel the Karcher Beast so I can show you the bit that we're changing. This makes a big difference when it comes to detailing cars. I've said this in the last two videos, I want to say it again in this video. As you can tell, I'm very, 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 very passionate at the moment about detailing. Check it out. I just love it. It gives me a bit of chill time. It gives me a bit of hype. It gives me a bit of a reward after every session that I do. Detailing the Golf R, the Polo, the Mazda. The Polo's getting it. The polo is going to be a creeper, you don't know it yet, but it's going to be insane. All I'm going to be doing tonight, because it's super late right now, it's like midnight on Friday night when I'm filming this clip right now. I'm going to be showing you and doing the upgrades to the K7 Compact. Then we're going to wait till it's daylight for the second half of this video and we're going to test it. And we've got to go and get some fresh rubber. We've got to get some sick street slash track tyres for the Polo GTI for a refurb and a paint powder coat on the wheels this week. So it's going to be a cool video. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be chilled. Let's get straight into the upgrades. Watch out. What are you saying, lad? Dixie's outside. She's not chilling in here right now. So today, this is the length. Just to go into perspective, there's my foot. That is the length right there of what I wash my car with probably. It's just not a thing. It's just not a thing. The K7 Compact is savage in every way. It's 180 bar of pressure. By the way, please excuse all of this. It's getting to the point where I'm not very proud of it. I'm going to be condensing all these. I've got big plans. I've actually planned out a pretty sick space saver that I'm going to be getting, I think, in the next couple of days. That's for a future episode. And I've decided all of a sudden that I absolutely despise the colour of this wall. So, without complaining, I like to keep my vlogs really positive. If anyone could get involved and let me know any colour ideas for this wall, it's got to go with the R, it's got to go with the mountain bikes, it's got to go with the BMX. If anyone knows any colour ideas, hit me up, because I need it big time. We've got to make some space in the booth, kind of looks sicker like that. Although we are missing a car right now, and I don't know why we're missing a car, but we don't have a car in here. So I've been out and about. The first thing I've got, some of you will know straight away what the hell I'm about to do. As soon as you see these nozzles, you'll know what I'm about to do. These are different grade nozzles. We've then got a Karcher adapter, as you can see. Check that out. This is, this is a good hack. I've been wanting to do this. Pretty much when I bought the Karcher K7 Compact, loads of people told me. Oh, by the way, cream soda. Check it out. Virgil's handcrafted cream soda. That is a good drink. That is a good, good little um, drink. I don't really drink Coca-Cola anymore. I didn't drink it for like seven months, not once. And then I drank it for like a week. And then I've been back not drinking it again for like probably a few weeks now. So I decided I wanted something fresh other than water and tea. Oh, saying that, I've actually got a cup of tea over here. 
Stay tuned. That is a bang and brew made by the one and only Fiance. Oh. Say hello to the camera. Maybe we should detail Quattro one day, brush him, clean all his nails. We could do a full Frenchy detail, couldn't we? Oh God. Oh God. So yeah, this brings me to, I bought a Karcher K7 Compact around three months ago, maybe, and loads and loads and loads and loads of people. Maybe you want, maybe some of you is watching right now. Was it you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what car do you drive? What mods have you got? Is anyone else out there into VWs? When I see a VW, I'm pretty hyped. Way more than like an Audi, a BM, a Merc. I do love all of them. Every one I was saying then, I obviously think about. Pretty much anything German is sick. And Jap. I like Mazdas. I like Scoobies. I like drift cars like S15s, S14s, S13s. I like 350Zs, 370Zs. I could, the list could go on. That brings us to this little bad boy, Snubby. That's what we're going for right now. This is a replacement of this. So, this whole nozzle replaces that whole thing. So look how small that is. It actually makes it better pressure, interchangeable, quick release end on it. So this little, this little end here interchanges and you can use your snow foamer as a quick release. This whole thing is going today. So that'll be gone and that'll be active. So I don't know how you install it. I'm hoping it's gonna be an easy one. I actually, obviously, you know this because hence the amount of chemical guys stuff that I've got. Also Maguire's, also auto finesse and a bit of an auto glim. I do want to get more into the auto glim stuff. By the way, this is atrocious. I will be cleaning this before the end of this video. Okay, so as I was saying, anyway, basically I've been going down and bothering the hell out of the guys at Chemical Guys every day, pretty much. I've been like three different um, car detailing shops, but Chemical Guys are just sick. It is just sick, I was of it. This here is a snubby spray foam gun attachment. So what this does is it like takes away the bulk. It gives you a bit more of a controlled feeling and it gives you a quick release. I'm pretty sure it ups your pressure. I'm gonna read it to you, since you're here and you're in now for the video, I'm gonna read it to you. With the snubby washing your car with a pressure washer and a foam can and becomes a comfortable and easy to manage task for all use. Always use the safety lock after using a power washer spray gun to prevent accidental spraying. Anyway. Yeah, basically it's sick. It shortens the hell out of it. It gives you a bit more easy access. I actually tried this out. They were washing their new car today at Chemical Guys, and I actually tried it out on theirs. Not this one, exact one, but I tried their one out, and it was so cool. I've never used a snubby gun. So you can get a lot of like copies. You can get cheaper ones on Amazon and eBay and stuff. I'm guessing they're sick as hell, but I decided to go for the beast because why not? If we're gonna review something, it may as well be a sick one. So let's get started. I'm gonna open this thing. Oh, actually, before we open this thing, maybe I'll take my old one off so that we've got just a pipe at the end. That sounds good to me. Nice. Okay, now, this has been nothing short of a nightmare. Every time I... That was so easy, it's never come off that easy. Oh my God. So, we're getting rid of that whole thing. Look at that. That is ridiculous. So you have that, which is massive. Although that is quite good, I'm not gonna be throwing it away in case I wanna use it maybe for the garden, whatever. That whole thing's going as well. Look at the size of that. Get all the water out of it so it doesn't end up destroyed. So that's going. That's going. That's also going. I've never used that. I think that's pretty crazy for flags and patios and stuff but I've never used that. Maybe we could use it in the video, but it's kind of too late because I'm doing something else here. Let me get the attachment. So, this right here is the Karcher attachment, hence why you see Karcher written on it. I don't know whether that actually works from there. However, 
it says Karcher on it, and that goes like, basically you pull that down, like that, and as you can see, the end opens up, it looks pretty straightforward, like that. So that is on now, that is on, check that out, pretty straightforward. Look at that, that's sick. And then, as you can see, I've got a bit of a thread inside there, like, boom, look at that. So we've got a thread in there, as you can see at the end of that, pretty steez. So that's gonna be the thread for all these little bits in this packet. So we're gonna go back over there, and we're gonna unbox the hell. Actually, maybe we'll do it here, it's kinda comfortable. It's kinda chilled, we'll do it here. Stanley, cup of tea, quattro, what could possibly go wrong? Nozzles of every assortment, snubby gun, spray foam attachment gun. Now, in this packet, you get the gun and you get three little adapters. We're going to unbox all of them, we're going to have a look and we're going to see what is what. So. Beautiful. It's a sharp packet. I'll tell you that right now. Snubby. You get a quick, so you get a quick release coupler, which is quarter female. You get a quick release connector, which is three eighths male. And you get twist and plug connector, which goes on, I think the other end. We will see. We will see. Wow. Quick release, which is the one we're gonna be using, I think, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, actually, I think I used that, which is the actual quick release. Oh wow, that looks sick. And it feels high end. Okay, packet's gone. First impression is, it's pretty heavy. That's a nice weight. I quite like it, I wonder if we've actually got a weight spec on this. Um, no weight spec. It says it's good for up to 5,000 PSI, which is crazy. Mine's only 180 bar. I don't know what that would be in PSI. Maybe it's 180 PSI, I don't know. Up to 10.5 gallons per minute, maybe, GPM. I'm not sure what that means. Up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which I only use cold water. Includes three connectors, so there we go. First impression, pretty heavy. Feels pretty good. Second impression, Pretty good product. It's got like a lock on it, look, which goes like that, I'm guessing. Oh, I see. So that stops you from using it, which is kind of cool, actually. Probably a bit less wear and tear on it when it's lying down. So we put the lock back up. So that replaces, basically that replaces that and that at the end as well. So that replaces sort of everything. And as you can see, it's really nice. Looks pro as. Looks pro as. Talk. Talk is chemical guys, like machine company. They do all their machine polishes, all their bits and pieces. That is an absolute rig. So, I'm pretty sure this goes in here. I'm pretty sure this is the quick release that goes in there. Like so. So as you can see now, so as you can see, the all the little parts, the quick release, whatever, will go in there. So as an example, oh, and then I'm pretty sure this, goes in there. So yeah, so that goes in there. So the bottom connector, Then we've got the other connector, as you can see. So I've got to tighten these up, but I just want to check that they're the right ones before I send it fully. So I'm going to take this off so I can spin it. Then we've got this one, which goes on here. 
It's getting bigger. <laughs> the whole setup's getting bigger. And that's pretty chilled. So that one goes on there. That's nice and tight. Then this goes back on there. So as you can see now, that's the setup. So we've got a little bit of an adapter. We've got the Karcher nozzle adapter there. And then we've got the quick release on the end there. As you can see, let me focus you in so you can see it's pretty cool. There you go. Ball bearings on the inside, which form a quick release. Pretty chilled. Check that out. Nice. I'm excited to see what this is like under 180 bar of pressure. So, these are the different nozzles, as you can see. These are different nozzles. That's like a weak nozzle. I'll show you all these tomorrow, but this is a weak nozzle, as in tomorrow in the other half of this video. But that's like the weakest nozzle, as you can see. Oh, this is number zero, which is apparently really crazy. So that, that is apparently pretty crazy. That's like got like sharp, like spray on it. We'll have a look at all of this tomorrow. Then we've got another one, which is numbered 40 degrees, which I think this is maybe the best one. And then we've got 25 degrees, which is this one. And then we've got 15 degrees, which is this one. So tomorrow's gonna be sick trying all of these. It's gonna be proper cool. So I'm having an interval sip of my tea. Nice. So this is gonna give you a clearer indication of what in the hell this actually does. So, this is going to be a cool way of showing you. This is me chemical guys, big mouth snow foam air. Look at the size of that. This is sick, I'll show you this tomorrow. I'm not sure whether I showed you this um, in the last video because we didn't actually use the snow foamer when I did my wheels. We didn't use it when I did my interior, obviously. So, you probably haven't seen this in action yet. It's pretty sick. It's me pride and joy at the moment. I like it a lot. Now, when you use a Karcher gun like this, this is the most annoying thing in the world. You have to put it in, for me anyway, I, I don't think it's that cool. You have to put it in, twist it, because it goes in like a locking system like this, watch. So you have like that, there, it goes in, twists, and then it can't come out anymore. Now, when you buy this snow foamer and any other snow foamer for that matter, you have to buy. So that, as you can see, this is like a piece that you buy for a Karcher pressure washer. So you can use this snow foamer with any pressure washer. Now, this little bit you get with the big mouth pressure washer and it's to work with the snubby gun. So that goes in there like so. I think you're gonna lose your absolute marbles now. You've been warned. Okay, you've been warned, you're gonna lose your mind. So you wanna snow foam your car, it's this simple. That's it, and that's your snow foamer. That is ready to go, you've finished snow foaming your car. It's that easy. So it's like a quick release system for all your different nozzles, your different, your different bits and pieces. You simply pull it back, slot it on, pull it back, pull it off. It's so good, that. And then whatever way you go, it goes with it. That is sick. That's a serious bit of kit. Now, furthermore, the reason why you get all these little nozzles, so these are all about degrees. So basically, in degrees, that means if you spray the one with zero on it, which is the red one, that'll go in a direct straight line. If you use one, the white one as an example, that is 40 degrees, that'll go like 40 degrees out on an angle away from straight. That right there is the finished and finalized product. For as example, washing wheels, the full car, hosing and rinsing the whole car down. That is the end result right there. So that is what's been swapped for all of that business. So that's the end right there. Look how sick that is. And basically, when I've finished doing all my stuff, all I've got to do is do quick release, like 
that and that's my hose disconnected as well so no more of this coiled up hose seems pretty damn sick look at that that's an upgrade right there if you ask me that is an upgrade right there. So I'm going to tighten all my, I'm going to tighten the two top and bottom ones up. So obviously you've got this one here and you've got this one here. I'm going to tighten both of these up properly with a spanner. The next clip I'll see you tomorrow where I'm going to be using this beast. Or maybe we'll go and get some rubber for the Polo GTI first. I reckon that could be pretty sick. The story behind that is I want to paint, I want to powder coat. I'll tell you tomorrow. I'll tell you tomorrow. Peace out. See you tomorrow in the next clip. Good morning. I am in Wrexham and I'm getting some rubber for the Polo GTI. Now, originally, when I set out at the beginning of the Polo GTI track build, I sort of wanted um, NS2R tyres. That's mainly because I love the look of the NS2R tyre. I'm not that clued up on tyres, I've heard they're pretty good. It's the same type of tyre, but it's a road, it's basically a high performance road tyre. That's what I'm after because I'm not going to do just track tyres. Uh, so I want a high performance road tyre. Now this is the tyre that I'm going to get for all four corners of the Polo GTI. This is the tyre that we're going for on the 20 valve. So it is called a Yokohama Advan Neova AD08RS. These are supposed to be absolutely sick. So, for me, one of the best things about a good looking car is the alloy wheels. The Polo GTI wheels, they're called Monzas. They're like 16 inch versions of the Monzas that come on like a Mark V GTI. Although, having said that, I don't actually know whether they're still 16s on the Mark V GTIs, but I highly doubt it. Anyhow, um, the Monzas that come standard on the Polo 9M3 GTI. I'm gonna actually powder coat them. I've decided with the spacers, they look really, really cool. So I'm gonna powder coat them. Here's a clip of the current condition. So this is the current condition. It is a new day. This is the current condition of the alloys. I actually painted two of them ages ago. So they've both been painted with rattle cans. So I'm gonna be getting a powder coat job done on these. They've got old rubber on them. All the tires are pretty destroyed. Pretty much to the point where I'm not gonna bother driving it to the tire shop. I'm gonna actually go in the 7R. Nice powder coat job. They want some nice new center caps and some nice rubber. So I think that's really gonna transform the car both the way it drives with the, with the new tires the new tyres with the way it drives and visually they're gonna it's just gonna look sick i want to keep it looking pretty standard i don't want to go too crazy i want it nice and low nice tartan interior and just you know live the 180 dream so there you go we are out in the r today i'll switch the camera around so you can see it the r sitting mean mitchell and ps4s's is what rubber i've run on these tyres and i honestly can not recommend them more. I don't know whether I showed you guys this. I had all the front of the R dechromed by Elite Vinyl. Artis is one of my G's. He's one of the homies. And basically, I messaged him at like half past 11 at night and I said, Can you wrap the front of my car? And he was like, Yeah, let's go, which is sick. So, yeah, check that out. It's looking sick. The haircut! This week, I'm going to be dropping the wheels off, or maybe the full car or a pile of coaters. Um, I could do either or. I only have two axle stands, however, so I'll probably have to get another two axle stands if I wanted to actually drop the wheels off. I would preferably do that, because then I can still do little mods and stuff to the Polo if it takes them over a week to do the wheels or whatever. I'm pretty sure they don't need refurbing, but if they do, I'll just get them to do it. Here's what it is. Um, it's going to be sick. That brings us to, right now, I'll see you guys when I've got some fresh rubber tyres in the back of the 7R. There we have it. Four tyres. 205, 45, 16. Beasts. They look pretty good to be fair, AD08 RS. I have heard about these tyres before. I've never used them though, only ever used. Nankang. On like track stuff. That was on the Mini, on the Polo GTI. But, I've got to be honest, they are actually kind of sick looking. Maybe even better. Sick that. So we're going to get these things out of here. 
and then hopefully in the next week or so we can get these loaded on to a fresh powder coated set of Polo GTI rims for the track slash street build. We've got the escape artists chained up for the viewing pleasure. We've got Quacho there. We've got Dixie. Beautiful. Okay, now, I'm not washing the car as such right now. I'm just doing a little review on the Stubby Beast. Pressure. Look at the bead. Hydrophobic behaviour. Let's try some of these different nozzles and see what we've got. So, we've got 25 degrees. We've got zero degrees. We're going to start with zero. So that then was 15. So you've seen 15. We're now going to go to zero. That's kind of aggressive. I'm not going to use that on my car. Maybe you could use that on like exhaust tips or something. But I'm not going to use zero degrees. 25 degrees. Let's have a look how 25 degrees is. Pretty chilled. Trying to figure out which one you would use. 40 degrees. This one probably be quite wide. I feel like the orange one's the best one. And I feel like the orange one will be the best for wheel arches as well. So if you do that. That is a pretty damn cool upgrade for the beast. That is sick. No leaks, no nothing. Looks solid, feels solid, is solid. Happy days. Cool that. We actually haven't tried the black one. The black one's just wide open. As you can see, it doesn't even have a degrees on it. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, so that's pretty chilled. That's probably, you probably use that for like mountain bike stuff maybe. Beautiful. So the black one's kind of cool, actually. Didn't think I'd ever have a use for the black one, but I reckon the black one's probably good for mountain bike stuff because it's not as harsh. The orange is the beast, though. The orange is the beast. I'm going to use this opportunity to wash my car because why the hell not? Probably not on camera. I'll probably just do it and maybe save the wash video for a future video. I just want to show you the snow foam set up right now so we've got the new torx snubby we've got the chemical guys big mouth pressure washer no snow foamer um and basically i just want to see how it performs now with Maguire's ultimate snow foam inside it the irony and we're going to try this bad boy right now on the car something something i haven't actually tried yet i've just tried all the nozzles they're pretty sick pretty shocked with those two the others are sort of feel like you could have a use or you could not have a use. Take it or leave it, they're amazing. Now, let's try it.
Wow. Wow. That is insanity. It's so thick. That is crazy. That's probably the best foam I've ever had. That's the best snow foam I've ever had on a car right there. Making its debut. Sick as hell. Sick that. Okay, what a sick video. There was one thing I wanted to do for this video, but I decided in the end, I'll actually wait because I reckon it could be a pretty cool video in itself. It's a proper wash start to finish on the Golf R. Um, that was only a snow foam, a quick basic blast, getting all the top level of dirt off and grime and stuff like that. I actually got some poor boys world. One thing so many people comment on the channel to me is to try poor boys. So I went and I bought some shampoo, it's called Super Slick Suds Concentrated Car Wash Shampoo that you dilute. Also, I got some bug squash, which is bug and tar and glue remover, rogue grime and grit. Basically, I like to put this on diluted under... I've never tried it with this on, but I, I used to do it with an auto finesse one that's now run out. And basically, has it run out? Yeah, it has run out. Um, and basically, the aim of the game is in the future to maybe do like a bit of a chilled wash video. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. The Karcher K7, you've got to do that upgrade, whether you've got a K2, non-Karcher pressure washer, find the nozzle that works for you and definitely upgrade to a stubby gun. You can get even cheap ones off Amazon, eBay, all that. That was next level. I would say the pressure felt ridiculous through that thing. Number one, because you can get closer to the car, so you're just more involved, you're more in there. The little nozzles are mega. The quality and flow on this thing feels ridiculous. Happy days, hyped on that. Wasn't expecting that to be today's video, but there you go. Little bit of a stubby gun upload. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Make sure you get involved in the comments. Let me know if you've got any ideas. Let me know if you like this type of content. Car detailing is going off, pretty into it, it's sick. We've got new bits on owner right now. Don't forget, you get a free snapback cap with every single order. So if you're getting one of our new relaxed, chilled camo t-shirts, make sure you add your free snapback cap. Just pick your favorite one and it'll be deducted to zero on checkout. It's that simple. Thanks for the support. It's so crazy. Peace out. See you in the next video. Peace.